Hello, my name is Darren Johnston, Technical Specialist with Hubble Power Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to properly install interrupters on a D-style transmission switch. For more than 40 years, our interrupters have been used by our customers for its current interruption capabilities. These are environmentally friendly and use no SF6 gas or oil. To install the interrupters, we must start by opening the switch. Starting at the top phase, disengage the reach pipe from the bearing lever. Open the switch and start by removing the jaw and insulator mounting bolts. Install the mounting brackets on top of the jaw using the galvanized half inch studs that were provided with the interrupters. Mount the T-stands so the machine surface is facing away from the switch. Mount the interrupter to the T-stand using the half inch by one and three quarter bolts that were provided with the interrupter. The actuating rod on the interrupter will be on the bottom when mounting to the stand. Be sure to refer to the drawing provided. Close the phase into the jaw. Adjust the quick whips on the blade according to the drawing provided. This will make room to install the pickup rod and blade clamp. Install the blade clamp along with the pickup hook. The hook will be angled forward when the blade is closed. Close the blade completely and open the phase to check if the pickup rod is engaging the actuating arm of the interrupter. Adjust the rod accordingly if required. The blade will rotate and lift the pickup rod to engage the actuating rod of the interrupter. The interrupter needs to trip just as the pickup hook approaches the red mark. Operate the phase five to 10 more times to ensure the interrupter is functioning properly. Reinstall the bearing clevis and repeat these steps with the next two phases. For any questions about this or any other products, please contact our customer service department.